Chapter 3 PowerPoint continued. This is part 4 in the last part. Service records, essential for establishing a permanent business. Contain customers' details, retain customers' details, it should be, but contain customers' details, ownership, type of equipment, type of work done, materials, establish the sales prospects. Service records are very important. Nothing worse than not to remember when you go out there what there was. If you're by yourself, you get a customer called, have someone, if you're not in the office and can pull up the old invoices, have someone check your notes, tell you what you've done. Seems really odd to go out there and and it makes you look bad that you go, you're out low on refrigerator, we're going to have to add it. And you did it last time. If that last time you did it, did you offer them to a repair or to replace the unit? Because if you just put the free on in and walked away like it was normal, now they're saying, I'm paying you to come out again. Why didn't you tell me there was a problem last time? You need those details when you go out. Um, it's very important. Uh, and again, the other information is good to know who was there. Service estimates, best provided by an estimate professional. Um, anybody can do an estimate, but you need to be thorough. For example, I used to go on a lot of estimates, and I always seemed to get the, the jobs. I was, I was in more inexpensive than anybody else because I worked for myself, just had a helper at first. So I was able to get the estimates all the time I went out. But I also set the bar real high. So when I went out, when I was going to change a unit out, I measured the rooms. I wanted to make sure that unit was the right size. So I'd have the customer help me, hold the tape measure, gets them involved, let them see the numbers and tell them you write it down. You hold the dumb end, they hold the smart end of the tape measure. You set the bar really hard, high because anybody else going to come out and go, yeah, this is a four-ton house or we'll put the same size you had in before if it was working. You really need to measure it to show that you're going the extra mile. It takes you 15, 20 minutes to measure all the rooms. And you look very important and uh, professional. Uh, know the material costs, labor costs, service problems. Uh, you need to know code corrections. Because there might be a lot of those. Can judge time necessary to do the repair. Can factor in overhead expenses. Account for all materials, labor, and overhead costs. Include mar margin of profits. I put this in here because I saw this on a wall of an Goodman air conditioning dealer in uh, Huntsville, Alabama, and I just created it because I thought it was funny to see. And when you do an estimate, that's why you measure the rooms. You make sure you know the square footage of the house before you decide. I saw this on the wall of the supply house, and it says, AC home replacement estimator sizing sheet. And the instructions on it, and this was almost exactly what I saw, it says, uh, stand on the curb, hold up paper, see if the which stick house is about the same size as the house you're estimating. So you judge it by the looks, not by the size. And that's very important. A lot of companies, a lot of guys do this. Oh, this looks like a three ton house. Service contract. Service contracts are big nowadays. Everybody sells service contracts. I did not because my customers were gonna call me back anyway. If you sell a service contract and they buy it for $79 or $179 or $400, you give them like 15, 20% off their next bill. Um, they get immediate service, so they get put to the top of the list. So if their air conditioning and heating goes out, they don't have to get on the back of the list and make their way. Since they're a service contract holder with you, they're part of your family, you go see them first. And you let them know, we get there the same day, even if it costs us overtime, if you call in. So people want to sign the service contract. The other thing that happens, they've already paid for this. They're already getting a discount. Why would they call anybody else? So this is real important. Some companies give service contracts away free because they know it gets people more calling them back. Um, maintain the service contracts. You go out and you check the unit every year, or twice a year, some of them, and it just gives you a reason to go out in the house. You don't look for things wrong, but at least it makes you look like you're doing good, especially when you leave and there's nothing wrong. You go, hey, everything was good. I cleaned the drain line. So that's not going to give you a problem. Everything's operating fine. They're happy. They like your company. When someone says, who should I call? They'll always say your company. And here's an inspection report. I don't know why this is so small, but uh, it's in the book. Look over it because these are the items you'll have to look at when you do an inspection. That was it for these videos. That was four of them. Uh, please answer the question at the end of this lecture um, uh, and submit it. 
your answer to get credit for watching. So there's one question at the bottom of these four videos.